students in today's video we are going to study the phenomenon of uh, microsomal enzyme inhibition and the role of enzyme inhibitors now this video is 11th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics now before starting with our topic let's quickly go through the process of biotransformation now biotransformation is a process by which a lipophilic lipid soluble drug is uh, metabolized and converted into polar or water soluble metabolite that is easily excreted from the body primarily in the urine or in the feces now these uh, enzymes microsomal enzymes specifically cytochrome p450 enzymes play a very important role in the biotransformation or metabolism of drugs now these enzymes catalyze most of the oxidation reactions reductions hydrolysis and glucuronoid conjugation reactions now cytochrome 3a4 and cytochrome 3a5 uh, cytochrome enzymes metabolize more than 50% of the drugs and uh, cytochrome p450 enzymes are grouped into families designated as 1 2 3 uh, then sub families uh, represented by the capital letter uh, a b c etc whereas the individual enzymes are again designated by the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 so cytochrome uh, cytochrome 3a4 means the family is 3 the sub family is a and the individual number of the enzyme is 4 similarly cytochrome 3a5 means that the family is 3 the sub family is a and the individual number of the enzyme is 5 uh, now let's uh, understand uh, the concept of uh, enzyme inhibition enzyme inhibition refers to a uh, decrease in the enzyme activity the reduced enzyme activity leads to reduced metabolism of drug uh, by the enzyme and uh, as the drug metabolism is reduced uh, the drug is accumulated in the body which can further cause serious adverse effects now enzyme inhibitors are the drugs or chemicals that block the metabolic activity of one or more than one cytochrome p450 enzymes causing enzyme inhibition so these en enzyme inhibitors they block the metabolic activity of uh, cytochrome p450 enzymes now cytochrome p450 3a4 and the cytochrome p450 3a5 are the microsomal enzymes which uh, metabolize more than 50% of drugs and these two enzymes are inhibited by drugs like uh, erythromycin clarithromycin ketoconazole itraconazole uh, then verapamil diltiazem uh, etc uh, now let's understand the mechanism of action of uh, enzyme inhibitors enzyme inhibitors uh, primarily competitively or non competitively inhibit metabolism of substrate drug now let's understand this concept of competitive and non competitive inhibition with the help of figures now look at this figure uh, this figure shows normal metabolism of a drug this figure shows normal metabolism of warfarin now this is the enzyme the enzyme uh, is a cytochrome p450 2c9 now substrate or the drug for this enzyme is the warfarin that means warfarin is metabolized by this enzyme so warfarin and this is the active site uh, where the drug binds so the enzyme forms a complex with the warfarin and this complex is called as a enzyme substrate drug complex now uh, once this complex is formed the enzyme metabolizes warfarin to produce hydroxy warfarin so this is how a drug is metabolized Uh, now uh, let's understand uh, competitive inhibition with the help of an example uh, look at this figure now here the enzyme is the uh, cytochrome p452c9 uh, the substrate for this enzyme uh, that is the drug that is metabolized by this enzyme is the warfarin so but here in this case warfarin is administered along with amiodarone amiodarone is a competitive inhibitor it has a structure similar to that of warfarin and it has a more affinity for cytochrome p450 enzyme so amiodarone competes with warfarin uh, so as to bind to the active site of the enzyme 
So instead of warfarin, amiodarone binds to the cytochrome uh, P450 2C9 enzyme. And because of this, uh, metabolism of warfarin is prevented and uh, this in turn results in the accumulation of warfarin in the body and this increases the risk of bleeding as warfarin is an anticoagulant. Now most of the enzyme inhibitors are the competitive inhibitors with the few exceptions. Uh, now let's understand non-competitive inhibition. Now uh, here uh, the enzyme is a microsomal cytochrome P450. And the substrate or the drug that is metabolized by this enzyme is the phenytoin. Phenytoin is an anti-epileptic drug. Now, phenytoin is administered along with isoniazid. Isoniazid is a non-competitive inhibitor. Now, isoniazid binds to the allosteric site of enzyme. That is, uh, isoniazid binds to a site other than the active site. Now, by, by binding to the allosteric site, this isoniazid, it induces change in the shape of the active site of the drug. And this prevents binding of phenytoin to the, uh, to the enzyme. And uh, since phenytoin is not able to bind to the enzyme, the metabolism of phenytoin is inhibited. This results in the accumulation of phenytoin in the body and uh, accumulated phenytoin uh, causes neurotoxicity. Uh, now let's uh, study few more examples of uh, enzyme inhibitors. Now first is the amiodarone. Amiodarone is an enzyme inhibitor as discussed earlier. It inhibits metabolic activity of cytochrome 2C9. Uh, warfarin is a substrate for this enzyme. That means warfarin is metabolized by this enzyme. And inhibition of metabolic activity of this enzyme prevents metabolism of warfarin and that causes accumulation of warfarin in the body and that induces the risk of bleeding. Another inhibitor is erythromycin. Erythromycin inhibits cytochrome 3A4. Cytochrome 3A4 metabolizes simvastatin. That is simvastatin is a substrate for cytochrome 3A4. Uh, this cytochrome 3A4 is inhibited and that causes inhibition of the metabolism of simvastatin and further because of the inhibition of metabolism of simvastatin there is accumulation of simvastatin in the body and that produces its uh, toxic effect that is rhabdomyolysis uh, that is a breakdown of uh, skeletal muscles. Another uh, example of uh, enzyme inducer is the uh, uh, terbinafin. Terbinafin inhibits enzyme cytochrome 2D6. Now cytochrome 2D6 metabolizes the drug amitriptyline. That means amitriptyline is a substrate for cytochrome 2D6. Now inhibition of this enzyme inhibits the metabolism of amitriptyline. This results in the accumulation of amitriptyline in the body and thereby Amitriptyline produces toxicity characterized by dry mouth, dizziness, cardiac toxicity. Another example is of uh, grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice has uh, uh, furanocumarins and these uh, uh, furanocumarins, they are enzyme inhibitors. They inhibit the enzyme cytochrome 3A4. Now, Cytochrome 3A4 metabolizes simvastatin. Simvastatin is a substrate for cytochrome 3A4. Now as this enzyme is inhibited by furanocumarins, uh, uh, there is inhibition of the metabolism of simvastatin. Simvastatin is accumulated and produces toxicity that is the rhabdomyolysis, breakdown of skeletal muscles. Uh, so this is how uh, enzyme inhibition can result in the uh, toxicity, I mean, can result in the drug-drug interactions. So this is in brief on the concept of enzyme inhibition and the role of enzyme inhibitors. Uh, please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for the students from their examination point of view. So please do not use this information for the clinical purpose. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.